This video is dedicated to Owen Slater. It's not clowncore, but it's pretty close. Hey, hey, what is up, woodchoppers? Andrew Rooney here. We're back with some Lewis Cole. This is a person that a lot of people have requested. I ended up just typing Lewis Cole into YouTube and it came back with drum solo, Lewis Cole. But anyway, without further ado, let's check out drum solo, Lewis Cole. Bit of a Jacob Collier vibe, some vocals. Okay, just in case this is really unusual. I mean, this is an unusual clip. <laughs> what is this all about? <laughs> he's got a, I think he's trolling us with the like the little insert screen of the computer running. But um, yeah, if you're new to this, having little splash symbols on drums, that's become relatively normal. I don't know if, you know, maybe Lewis Cole was one of the first to do it. I'm not sure. So much stuff. The angle on this, snare mic here for example this mic here where is that going playing wise he's playing pretty ambidextrous i would guess this guy might be a lefty we've got this modern kind of jazzy improv funk kind of thing going on and uh we've just got an unusual setup the drums look pretty battered possibly quite cheap this might be a pg52 mic over here which is a, a really cheap like entry level kind of mic set the 10 inch little splash here i can tell it's a 10 because it's got 10 written on it he's got here on the tom it's almost taking up looks like it's taking up almost the entire surface of that drum oh boy Okay, really, really different. Um, please do hit me up in the comments with any other Lewis Cole stuff that I should check out. This is clearly something quite different. I went to the Jacob Collier thing before. I don't mean to lump people in together, but just with that vocal harmonizing thing and then playing other instruments over the top of those tracks, just, just remind me of uh, Jacob Collier a bit. We've got someone here who's very, very clever, but who thinks completely different to most of us. Now, it's not ever my position or my want to critique anyone, so I really hope this doesn't come across as a critique. 
Okay, I'll say it. I'll say it. He doesn't really look like a drummer to me. He he sounds amazing. It's everything's quite um, you know, it's not flowing as you would expect. And again, I don't mean that to sound bad like I'm saying he's really bad and I'm better than him. Not at all. I'm not saying that for a second. It's just unconventional. The end result is just so fantastic and the the result is really good. It's just he doesn't kind of look like what I would think if I was just hearing this playing the just the audio of this. I wouldn't think that's what the drummer looked like who was playing it. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. But yeah, that was super impressive, super different. You know, we've got someone here who's thinking completely outside of the square. It's these kind of guys or girls, uh, these kind of players who end up actually changing music in a way, changing drumming, changing what we thought was possible on the instrument. Art is very subjective. Of course, it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, um, but I think it just pushes things. These these kind of players, they really push. They push the boundaries of what would normally be acceptable, what would be normal. You know, even the statement with the strange mic up system. Maybe he doesn't know any other way to mic up. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not going to guess that kind of stuff. And again, it did work. It did work. I'm just saying it's unusual. And then you got the cymbals on the drums and the drums look really old and kind of cruddy. But that's got its own mystique. And I mean, I personally love that. I love like an older kit that's a bit beat up. Oh, man. I just keep trying to justify my statements here. So I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit careful. But hopefully you're getting what I'm throwing down. Whereas this is just so different. It's so unique for me. I'm just so glad we've got players like this around who make you sort of question things and may perhaps just make you stop and think every now and then. These guys just provide that little bit of spice, that little bit of something out of the ordinary. And it's just, I love it. Guys, I hope you dug the video. Remember, hit me in the comments with any more Lewis Cole that I need to check out. Be sure to get your free 30-day trial with Drumio. Just follow the link in the description and make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. All right, until next time. Ciao. Oh, well, you wouldn't have believed this morning. I was doing a session and the engineer kept saying, give me that heavy four feel. And I kept playing and I was trying to make it really heavy. And he said, no, nah, no, nah, heavier, heavier four feel. I said, look, I'm giving you a heavy four. What do you mean? And he then he goes, well, you know, heavy four, like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs>